Today, we're in Thailand, and I'm here with 100 pounds, aka 4,500 Thai baht, to answer the question, what can 100 pound get you in this beautiful country? Starting off, let's find some breakfast. And that shouldn't be too difficult. We're starting off in Chatu Chak, Bangkok, home of the largest weekend market in the world. An absolute bombardment to the senses and a truly incredible place. With over 200,000 visitors every weekend, it has more than 15,000 stalls and 11,000 vendors. So it wasn't long before I found somewhere to eat. Oh, what's this? Okay. Hello, hello. And there's a whole dining experience as well. That's crazy. Thank you so much. What's, what's your name? Uh, my name is... Uh... Pew. Pew, yeah, Pew, nice to meet you, Pew. Yeah, Pew, Pew. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> so it costs 70 baht for the shrimp fried rice, which is £1.54. That's crazy. Thank you. Thank you very much, my friend. So we made our first purchase of the day, shrimp fried rice, and it was incredible. But without a doubt, the highlight was the atmosphere around us. But as nice as it was, I was eager to see what else Chatu Chak had to offer. That was very nice, dude. Now, I can't believe I just spent £1.87. But now I've had breakfast. It's time we move on. Thank, Thank you very much. Uh, and uh, you keep the change. Pew pew. Ah, yeah, yeah, okay. Now, for the sake of the video, that was actually very stupid. Uh, we're trying to do the most we can with that money. But Pew is such an absolute legend. I had to do it. We'll make it work. I promise you. Now, we've already eaten. So, I guess it's just seeing what else the market has to offer. And unsurprisingly, it turns out the market had a lot to offer. Kind people, interesting stalls, and some really explicit key rings. That's huge. That is giant. Mental. But I think the most interesting of all was the fashion statements. That's crazy. Umbrellas in the sun. I've never seen that before in my life. I guess that... So what is it? Is this like a fashion statement? It's a sun umbrella. A sun umbrella? ultraviolet. You know ultraviolet? Oh, yeah, ultraviolet light. Yeah, ultraviolet light. I guess you could call it a... It's very oh. light. I'm, I'm really trying to get this joke in here. Light. I guess you could call it a sun umbrella. Sun, um, oh, sun umbrella. But then I guess you could make it, put it together and call it a sun umbrella. Yeah, sun umbrella. A sun umbrella. A sun umbrella. Yeah, sun umbrella. Not a sun umbrella? You think that's good? <laughs> sun umbrella? <laughs> yeah, sun umbrella. Hey, there we go. Nice to meet you. Be careful of the violet lights. Wow, man. That joke was impossible to get off the off the mark. I can't blame her though, the sun was actually very intense. With the spring temperature in Thailand regularly exceeding 35 degrees, I was in need of some protection of my own. This is quite cool and fashionable. What's that saying? What do you think of this one? You think it's nice? So these ones, please. Thank you. Thank you so much. I was feeling happy with my new purchase and to lift my spirits even higher, I ran into a friend. What the hell? Why is Kenny here? Okay. Wait, why did you zoom in on the monkey, George? I was saying that I was talking about the unicorn. Oh, I always have a joke with Kenny that he's a unicorn because he's so great and magical. And George zoomed in on the monkey. Crazy. To be honest, I think I'm done in this place. But with these shades, I can have an epic exit. And what an epic exit it was. I could finally see Thailand without squinting and I looked great while doing it. Even the locals were loving my new look, but we'd seen everything this insane market had to offer. And it was time to move on. We're just some guys looking to have some fun. Do you know a good place to uh, go? Floating market. Uh, floating market? Yeah. What's the floating market? Oh my gosh, it's on, it's on, the, it's on the water. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, wow. So we learned about the floating market and we knew we had to see it, but that was going to have to wait because another helpful driver told us about a new location. Yeah, but you look around. Wait, can you take us here to Khao Road? Yeah, yeah. Thank you, my friend. Let's do this. Jeez, I'm too big for this, man. What's your name, my friend? Siwa. See what? Yeah. So to Kalsan Road, how much? Yeah, 300. 300 baht? Yeah. Thank you, my friend. Oh my God. And we're on the road. And with that, we were off in Siwa's incredible rickshaw. Known as tuk-tuks in Thailand, these rapid three-wheelers are used to navigate Thailand's traffic. There's a staggering 9,000 tuk-tuks used as taxis in Bangkok alone. So this vehicle really feels integral to Thailand, but I couldn't help but feel a little bit exposed. Ah! Oh my god, this is crazy! Tuk Tuk living! I am telling you, these Tuk Tuks are crazy! On the main roads as well, is mental! I can't believe it! But if the fast transportation wasn't enough, we also started learning about our driver Siwa. Get your sunglasses, I like them! Whoa, you look you very much. cool, my friend! Thank you, thank you! Uh, 15! Yeah, 15! 1-5! 5-0! 5-0! 
You look 32. Not yesterday. Oh, happy birthday, Siva. Hey. hey. Why did you start driving the tuk tuk? Uh, I like tuk tuk. I also like Tuk Tuk, especially when Siwa started giving us a guided tour of Bangkok. What's this? Uh, King Bangkok. The king? Yeah. The king of Bangkok? Yeah. He sleeps there. Yeah. The, uh, there's a king of Bangkok, that's crazy. And what an incredible place it is, just look at it. But after 20 minutes, we'd arrived in Koh San Road, which gave us more stalls and shops to see, but there was a special place that Siwa mentioned to us along the way, and it was calling my name. Where's Dream World? Huh? Dream World. Dream World. Dream World. Dream World. Dream World is a theme park and clearly the place to be. So we got in a taxi and made our way there. Even our driver was hyped about it. Dream World, Dream World. And he wouldn't be leaving us there. So, what's your name, my friend? Ah, nice to meet you. He's coming with us. Apparently, if he comes with us when we get our tickets, he gets a coupon. But in reality, my aim is going to be to get him on a ride with us. I was on a mission to get Patiogo to ride with me, but I wasn't initially sure it would be financially viable. How much is one ticket? Uh, one thousand baht. Our first big hit of the day. Damn. Here we go. I'd spent one thousand baht for my ticket, but it looked like Pationg joining us was destined to happen. If we give a coupon, the driver, the driver bring the customer here. Can he come in with us? Yeah, uh, you can come in with us without paying. Okay, so you go on a ride with us. Yeah? Okay, amazing. Yeah, he's excited now. I'm good. He's just as good as we are. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much, my friend. Dream World, let's go. We're going together. He's my dad. To my absolute amazement, we were in Dream World with our taxi driver. This really is the place where dreams come true. But the rides were going to have to wait. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Hey, he's loving life. This is my brother, he's loving life right now. He's my dad. No, 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 he doesn't matter. It's just me and my dad. Now let's do this one. Can you do this? The thing with... Could I get a popcorn? You want popcorn? Thank you. 40 baht spent on popcorn. Worth every penny. Patty Young and I were having the best time exploring, but we weren't just here for photographs and popcorn. We wanted to live life on the edge. Ah! Oh my god. Ah! Patty Young! Help me! Help me! Ah! Oh, you saved me, Patty Young. We should do that now. That boat ride was so enjoyable that we couldn't stop there. Up next was a cable car. Oh my God. I'm scared. I'm scared. What do I do? I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. You're scared? <laughs> if you're scared, what can we do now? Don't do it. If you're thinking of going on this, don't. It's scary. I could tell Pat Yang was in the mood for something more thrilling. Oh. <laughs> you want to do that, don't you? You want to do that? You want to do that one? No, no. no yeah, that one. Yeah, yeah, that one you're scared of. So if Patty Young's need for adrenaline, it was time to get serious. What ride should we go on? Because I'm going to try and get him on that one. <laughs> you're, you're ready for that, yeah? Oh, wow. And as you can see by Patty Young's face, that smile. <laughs> he's looking kind of nervous. So, yeah, he's absolutely terrified. But my favorite thing about my, uh, my brother here is he's on anything. You ready? Yeah? <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Alright, let's do this, man. We were ready to tackle this insane roller coaster 2,000 feet long and 85 foot high, but the most unbelievable part is that Patty Young, my taxi driver, would be joining me. I'm too tall. I'm, I'm actually too tall. If I want to, my legs can touch the bottom. Oh, Patty Young, I'm too tall. I could actually fatally die here. Oh, no, no, no. My legs are too... They're too long. Ah. Uh, uh, Oh, Pat Young, Pat Young. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. Pat Young, Pat Young. Ah, oh, oh God. Oh, God, no, 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 no. Oh, God. oh, oh, Pat Young, Pat Young, Pat Young. I'm sorry, I'm putting through this. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, 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 my God. Oh, my God. Oh, no. No, no, I'm too big! I'm too big! Oh my, oh my god. I'm telling you now, nothing could have prepared me for that. 
I was too big for the ride. Fatty Young's having the time of his life, but I was terrified for my actual safety. You liked it, yeah? What an incredible experience, but that was too much fun for Patty Young. Patty Young. Okay, my fair life, go back. You go, you're, you're, you're gonna go? Okay. You're, you're, you're leaving, yes? Yeah. We're leaving in tw 20 minutes, we could go with you. So Pat Young was kindly going to wait to take us to our next destination, but a hug and a thank you just wasn't enough for me. To be honest, now I just want to surprise him with a million gifts. So it's time to, to hit the arcade. Stop win or I, I feel like I'm going to have to spin this. What is this? One more, yeah? I know a rigged game when I see one. It was time to move on and luckily for me, I found a game that I'm professional at. Oh my gosh, 30 second, 15 score. That has to be possible. 50. This is gonna be easy work. All I need is 15. Here we go. I was born to play basketball. I'm naturally gifted and the years of practice I've put into my craft has only refined my skills. 15 points in 30 seconds would be easy for a huge giant like me. This was inevitable at the best of times, but having the thought of Pationg's gift on my mind, it was all the motivation I needed to excel beyond comprehension. I could practically taste victory. I could see the prize in my sights. That was until the pressure started to get to me and I crumbled. The time was ticking down and the score was looking impossible, but I knew what needed to be done. All I needed was just a few more points. I capitulated! I had it, did you see? Did you see the last shot? So I had fumbled basketball, which was unbelievable considering my track record. I tried numerous times to win a prize for Patty Young, but he was waiting for us and it was time to let the dream die. End of the day, I'm not gonna keep playing. You gotta cut your losses after. Wait, hang on a second. She's making it look so easy. Nah, I'm done, man. I'm done. Thank you. Damn, man. I really wanted to win Pationg something, but it wasn't to be. Sometimes life can be cruel, but this was destined to not be one of those times. As we were making our way out of Dream World, I spotted one final chance at redemption. Just get it in. Oh, easy. Put a bond inside. In the bo inside, yeah. What bond inside? Get one. Two one inside, get one back out. You didn't tell me that. You didn't. You didn't tell me that. Two one inside. She said, "Yeah, yeah, get a ball in, get a ball in. I get a ball in, and this is what I get." I had been shaked. But as we all know, size doesn't matter. I was just happy to be leaving with something for Patty Young. So with the present in hand, it was time to say goodbye to Dreamwell. It's time to find Patty Young and give him his, his prize. Ah, oh, oh my gosh. It's me and Patty Young. They've already got him printed. 300? Yeah. All right, you know what? 300. When Patty Young sees this, he's going to be over the moon. Patty Young, I won a prize for you. Here you go. Thank you. And then look, it's me and you. Okay. <laughs> I will hold this close to my heart forever. Thank you very much. Yeah, no, no, thank you very much as well. Yeah. Can we go to the floating market? In the floating market? Yeah. I remembered about the floating markets we'd been shown earlier and was keen to see what it was all about. The floating market seems the place to be. But before we get there on this journey, we may as well work out how much money we've got left. We have spent 2,490. So now we've got less than half our money to find a place to stay tonight, to get some dinner tonight. Oh, oh, it's now gonna look like a bit of a struggle. Do you have, uh, do you have family, Pationg? Yeah. How many kids? One. One. Is that a boy or a girl? No. Oh, that's nice, man. Okay, thank you so much, Pationg. We finally reached the floating market, which unfortunately meant it was time to say goodbye to Pationg. Thank you very much. Really appreciate everything. Pationg and I exchanged numbers and then bid our final farewell. Bring it in. Thank you so much for driving us around. 
That's sad, what a guy. But George and I didn't have much time to be sad because we had some floating markets to explore. So this is why they call it the floating markets. They're selling stuff while floating. I'm guessing anyways. Floating markets can be found all throughout Southeast Asia and there are several across Bangkok. They provide a cultural getaway from the hustle and bustle of the inner city. But where we were, there was one thing especially that really caught my attention. Oh my god. <laughs> I love you. I love you. I love you. Oh my gosh. I decided that I wanted to get up on stage and perform myself at this show, so I did my best to get the guy's attention. I think, I think. And it turned out they didn't need much convincing because before I knew it, I was on stage performing, and needless to say, I absolutely killed it. Look at the stars, look how they shine for you and everything you do. It was the performance of a lifetime, the crowd loved me, it was absolutely incredible. At least that's how I wish I performed. This is how it actually went. It's been a while since I performed this, but I wrote it myself, so I hope you guys like it a lot. Here we go! Yes! 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 And your skin! Oh yeah, your skin and bones! Turn in to something beautiful! You know! You know I love you so! You know I love you so! <laughs> sorry about that, sorry, 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 sorry. Hey, come out guys, come out! Special moment! Usually I perform in front of thousands. And you know, you know I love you so! Got the words wrong there? It's my song though. And after that incredible performance, I'd become a mini celebrity at the floating market. Thank you, thank you so much, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You like that, yeah? You like that? Everyone loved that so much. That performance that I'm a celebrity here now. Hey, how you doing? How you doing? <laughs> when you're as naturally gifted as I am with the singing, you're clear. With that side quest out of the way, it was time for George and I to hop on a boat and go somewhere a bit more central in Bangkok. Thank you. Okay. All right. So we've got a boat coming now. We stocked up with a water bottle and made our way onto the boat. And it turned out we were the only people who bought tickets, meaning we had the entire boat to ourselves. And off we go. A boat ride. And the fact that everyone's gone, it's almost like we've got a private one now. We've got a whole boat to ourselves for 200 baht. That is mental. We were living the life for the price of just £4.38. The only downside was there was a lot of bugs on the canal. The insects are eating us alive and it's not very nice. And yeah. But despite that, it did the job. And before we knew it, we were in central Bangkok, ready to experience the nightlife. Jeez. Oh, thank you, my friend. Thank you. Off we go. We got off the boat and managed to find a taxi nearby, which took us back to the street we were at earlier on. All right, back here again. This is apparently where the nightlife is in Thailand, Bangkok. The aim is here, find somewhere to get a nice dinner. We need to eat, man. But just before that, we decided to wander around a bit and explore what Bangkok's nightlife had to offer. One of the first people we ran into was this guy, who was selling cooked scorpions. You eat it? How much is the small one? 80 baht. So with that I paid 80 baht and joined this guy in trying a scorpion. And it was absolutely horrendous. Oh my god, that was disgusting man. Really, really bad. With 80 baht spent and a scorpion in my stomach, I was intrigued to continue exploring. Oh god, what's happening? <laughs> what a pleasant, <laughs> really pleasant wristbands here. Oh, 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 we got more. There's sequels out. Crazy. Oh, that, yeah, yeah. This is super creative. So, so you made these ones, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, 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 hey. crazy. <laughs> She's calling, hey, this, she's calling George. Uh, that's you, that's you, that's you, Josh. And that was only the first of many, many weird encounters that we'd had. What is this? 
That doesn't look like ping pong. Pussy is a ping pong. Pussy is Pussy? What is this? Why are they naked? Fuck it, fuck it. I can't do that, okay? No, no. Pussy is What's the pussy shoot balloon? What's that? No, no. Thank you. Thank you. Traumatize it. I just read pussy shoot balloon. I don't even want to know what that is. Even after getting traumatized, we still had a bit of an appetite. So we decided it was time to finally get some food. Hectic, hectic day. Need this meal. What is the Thai national dish? Papaya. Pad Thai. Yeah. Let's try this. It does the job. Shout out Pad Thai. So the bill is 89 baht. That is £1.96, which is crazy for a whole dinner. Now we can prioritize the rest of our money for our hotel tonight. Pad Thai. Not too bad. We paid the bill and then began making our way to the hotel where we'd be staying the night. So we're now headed to our hotel, which I found online at a very affordable price. It's a pretty cool hotel, I must say myself. But I'm going to leave it at that until you guys see it. Our taxi ended up costing a considerable £10.95, but it was okay because our hotel stay would end up being rather cheap. Very futuristic. How much is a room here? 550 baht. 550 baht. So that's what we paid for this room tonight. This is so weird. And the reason our hotel was so cheap was because we'd be staying in pods. Oh my gosh. This is, I'm not gonna fit. I'm not gonna fit. Here we go. Into my humble abode. I just fit. This is built for me. It's centimeter perfect. Welcome to NDL Cribs. So this is my pod. The issue which we've got right now is I don't know how to turn the lights off. White, off. There we go and look at that. After exploring my pod, I finally decided it was time to settle down for the night. I can't take this serious. This is gonna be a long night for me, man. Honestly, I just keep on dwelling on today. And I just keep being reminded of Patty Young, man. He just had the best vibe in the world. And he's always laughing. So that night, I drifted off to sleep and thought about my day. And all the horrors which I'd seen in the Bangkok nightlife. People forcing me to see shows I didn't want to. And the horrible wristbands. The only saving grace was the gracious laugh of Patty Young, <laughs> one of my closest brothers. And just thinking about him brought me the greatest happiness. So in that moment, I promised myself that in the morning, I'd make an effort to see Patty Young. Good morning, everyone. I have just awoken, and I have to say, that was actually a pretty good night of sleep. Yeah, I would recommend it. If you want an affordable option in Thailand, come through to the Spaceport Hotel. Can't complain about it. Doors are now open. Oh, oh my, I'm sorry, 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 sorry about that, sorry. That was, that was uh, incredibly all good. Oh my God, I almost. I was shot on our head top. Despite a very awkward start to my morning, I was still looking forward to the day. I grabbed some breakfast and then got ready to call up Patty Young. The only thing I want to do is link my brother Patty Young. So I'm going to give him a call and hopefully he answers. Hi, is this Patty Young? Yeah. Can I, can I see you, Patty Young, today? Yeah. Man of very little words. Unsure what to make of that phone call, I really was hoping he doesn't hate me. We made our way to a meeting point that we'd agreed on with Patty Young. Ooh. So, Patty Young's coming here. We're going to uh, share our last bit of money with him. To be honest, I'm feeling slightly guilty about yesterday for what we gave him. I feel like um, he definitely deserved a lot more. Time to count how much money we've got left of this challenge. 147. That's how much we've got left. I'll wait. I think that's Pat Young, over there. He's coming. Pat Young, nice to see you, brother. Great to see you. Would you like a drink? No. No? I'll grab myself a hot chocolate with a straw then. Thank you. Thank you, thank you very much. The funniest thing is we told Pat Young to meet us to give us a lift somewhere, and now we're just sat there chilling, thinking, what's going on? Well, Pat Young doesn't realize this, but bringing him out here, to enjoy these final moments of this challenge. And then I'm gonna surprise him with a bunch of money because he helped us out a lot yesterday. And I just wanna show him that we're very grateful. You, you have a good time yesterday? I know you don't fully understand everything I'm saying, but we missed you after you left. It went all a bit crazy. Hello. Hello. Thank you so much. That heart is for me and you. Love. Love. <laughs>
you've been the greatest taxi driver ever. What other taxi driver would join us in a theme park? You're crazy. Why? This is what we've got left in this challenge for the last 24 hours. We want to give you this. This is for you. Okay. Thank you. But also, we want to give you, here you go, my friend. This is for you. This is 22,500 baht. For you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah? Big up, my friend. Yeah. Thank you really much. No, you're, you're very welcome, you're very welcome. You, really good man. We're good friends. <laughs> that's, that's what I mean. We're good friends. <laughs> I love this, man. This is why I love my job. Just like it. Subscribe. Just thank you. Right. Uh, yeah, because Pat Young said it. If you're not already subscribed, then do it. Because Pat Young's told you to now. Yeah. We started this video with the question, what can a hundred pound get you in Thailand? And I can't believe the amount you can get for a hundred pound in Thailand versus what you can get in the UK where I'm from. I've tried new cuisine, had some crazy experiences, and most importantly, met some incredible people. <coughs> Pat Young. Let us know where you'd like me to travel to next. And yeah, big up.